coaching point in IELTS and spoken English. Also expert in study and visitor visa. Government approved. SS Group. Session Chowk, Hoshiarpur.
worthy guests. Today we have assembled here for the ICSSR sponsored national seminar on promotion of economic empowerment and entrepreneurship development amongst women in craft sector in northwestern India. As we all know that northwestern India is very renowned for its crafts. We include states from JNT, which is a UT now, up to Gujarat and Rajasthan. And the main crafts in this sector are like we all are familiar with the names Bandini Textiles from Gujarat, then we have Fulkari Embroidery in Punjab, then Blue Pottery, and uh, there are some wooden crafts also, Pashmina shawls, marble in the inlay work, and uh, in Husharpur we also have ivory inlay work. We use plastic now in, instead of ivory, and other arts like uh, miniature paintings which are famous in Rajasthan. These are the all crafts which we will be discussing here. Now before we, we have the renowned guests with us, we have experts with us who will be talking about these things. So we give a formal start to the function. I will request uh, Principal Dr. Vinay Kumarji to kindly accompany President Sir to the stage so that we can welcome our guests. Dear students, we have a galaxy of we have a galaxy of stalwarts from industry and academic fields with us today and you will be enriched with their views. First of all, I will invite on the stage uh, Shri I.M. J.S. Sidhu, President and Director, Workman Textiles Limited, Ludhiana. He is a very renowned, well-known figure all over India. Sir, kindly accept our green welcome. Uh, Ma'am, shawl and the memento also, please. So, beta, Siddhu sir. sir. एफर्ट्स करके साढ़े कॉलेज में कई बेनिफिट्स देते हैं। एक इंडस्ट्रीज़ दे कॉल दे हैव सम फंड्स फॉर सोशल वेलफेयर। तो जो साढ़े कॉमर्स के पार्टमेंट दे बीच रेनोवेशन हुई है तो उसे कुछ कंप्यूटर्स वगैरह लगे। दिस आर ऑल विद इस एफर्ट्स होंगे। Next, I will invite on stage Shri Tarun Chavla Ji. He is Director of Finance and Administration, Vartman Yams and Threads Limited, Vishyarpur. Siddhu Sarthi Tara, Chavla Sarthi Bhi Sarthi College Dena Badi Deep Attachment Hai. Doma Di Team Baut Badiya Kaam Kar Rhi Hai, Sarthi College Vastai Dera Very Valuable. These are the two stalwarts from the industry sector with us. Now from the academic field, we have Professor Dr. Sanjeev Gupta Ji. Sir, kindly please. He is Professor in Management and Dean School of Commerce and Management. Dr. Sanjeev Gupta Ji, he is Professor in Management and Dean School of Commerce and Management, Central University of Himachal Pradesh. He is our keynote speaker of the day. Now, now we have another distinguished guest with us, Shri Paramji Singh Parmar from Mumbai. He is an authority in the field of road safety and has done invaluable work in this field. Now the next guest is very relevant to the theme of the seminar. We have with us Mrs. Shaveta Gupta. She is a she is an entrepreneur in the field of education. Kindly come to the statement. 
तो शी इज़ नॉट हेयर तो आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट प्लीज ऑल द गेस्ट आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज टेक दे सीट्स now as we all are aware before starting any auspicious thing in india we invoke the divine blessings now we will also inaugurate this seminar so i request dr anup kumar worthy president and all the guests to kindly inaugurate the seminar by lighting a lamp now i invite the principal of our college professor dr vinay kumar ji for a uh, formally welcome in our guests thank you professor kapil jokha today on this uh, icssr sponsored seminar i would like to invite uh, th- uh, welcome shri I am Jay Sidhu, President and Director, Vardhman Textiles Limited, Ludhiana. Shri Tarun Chawla Ji, Director of Finance and Administration, Vardhman Yarns and Threads Limited, Hushapur. Professor Dr. Sanjeev Gupta Ji, Professor in Management, Dean School of Commerce and Management, Central University, Madhya Pradesh. Shri Paramjit Singh Ji, Parmar. who has just listened today is working on road safety and a new term i got today that is safe driving vigilant driving so he is working on that i welcome you sir dr anu bajaj head of the department of economics jc jv college dasua and our worthy president professor anup kumar uh, dr anup kumar ji under whose able guidance uh, we are organizing this function today so on this auspicious occasion i welcome you all to this seminar thank you thank you sir so now i invite dr varsha mehendra hod department of economics dd college hoshiarpur for introduction of the theme of the seminar thank you dr kapil good morning everyone i feel delighted and proud to introduce theme of the today's seminar promotion of economic empowerment and entrepreneurship development amid women in craft sector 
It is one of the most powerful and relevant. Theme in the current scenario, with main emphasis on women, especially from the rural areas, working in various craft sectors. During the recent times, we have been witnessing a significant change in this sector. Need of the hour is to see an increasing number of women entrepreneurs who can greatly influence the social and economic development of the country. Women have played a vital role in the craft industry throughout the history and their involvement in the industry has the cultural and social significance. They have played an important role in creating unique and high quality products that are valued both for their artistic and functional qualities. We are here that economic empowerment of women is one of the most fundamental components for achieving gender equality. Studies have revealed that women are more likely to promote a sense of community and compassion among their employees than men. Women have this natural tendency to be more determined and stable about their objectives and would inspire other women and future generation and thereby influence social and economic demographics of the nation. That's why the theme of this seminar becomes most relevant. An effort should be made to explore various options and possibilities to increase the participation of women entrepreneurship effectively in the economic and social growth of the country. To lift the human entrepreneurship, the government has already laid down various policies, frameworks and initiatives. Despite all these, women are still underrepresented. All the vital issues and aspects relating to the core and sub theme will be analyzed and discussed during the seminar. After touching the various issues in this seminar related to the theme, the expected outcome will make a big change, leading the rural women of today who can become proud entrepreneurs that may help them to get into big business chain which they shall manage well, moving ahead of their male counterparts. It can lead to a significant contribution in the workforce and also bring this woman out of the poverty segment. We are sure that Recommendations from seminar proceedings will guide the policy makers and suggest methods to promote entrepreneurship among women in craft sector. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vasha. Now, I request Shri Tarun Chavla ji to kindly come to the dais and deliver his expert talk on the team. Tarun Chavla ji. Thank you, Kapit. Uh, respected uh, Dr. Nu, President of the Government Management Committee, uh, Mr. Parmar, uh, I am uh, Shri IMGS Sedu, a senior management man, uh, expert, uh, Dr. Sanjeev Gupta, and Dr. Vidhi. And ladies and gentlemen, very uh, good morning. Uh, before I start, uh, uh, though Kapil has told that it is an expert, uh, a talk from expert, I would like to give a disclaimer that I don't know Dr. Anup and uh, Dr. Vinay how they club under category of expert. When I see the list, so most of them have a doctorate. So me and Mrs. Sidhu are only two persons. We do not have a DR in front of our name. So uh, my prayer is how you have classified as one of the expert. Uh, look, but uh, sure we will uh, uh, share our uh, a business experience, where are the challenges uh, the, any entrepreneur face, 
especially women, uh, we'll try to uh, share that from the industry perspective. First of all, I just want to share that how we as India stand in terms of women participation in the entrepreneurship. Uh, probably data says only though we have a 50 percent workforce as a women workforce, uh, uh, but uh, the participation is hardly 10 percent. So there are various factors and challenges for the women to be part of that labor force or part of being an entrepreneur for that. So some are historical factors, may not be, I will be sharing as a very detailed one, but there are areas where they are still not able to go uh, go for an entrepreneurship, maybe related to a financial uh, equipmentship, maybe related to a maybe a family obligation, mobility, uh, even various other factors which basically they find it, even knowing about from where the inputs come, how to manage uh, the, the, the workforce. But these entrepreneur challenges are common for women and men. It is only that women have not participated in these areas, that's why these become or theoretically become the challenges. I think they both are capable, women or men are capable enough to mount or surmount these challenges. And the other aspect of uh, uh, which is a theme of uh, uh, topic today is uh, related to the crafts of North and uh, West. In the initial keynote uh, uh, address, Kapil has touched base that what we know from North to West, uh, we have a craft which are starting from Martinsian from rural side as well as the, from the city side. It, goes from Fulkari, Punjabi Jutis, to Chamba shawls, to uh, full, uh, maybe Pashmina shawls in the textile space, maybe potries, maybe tie and dye work, so a lot of things. Anybody can work on that, RE work. So a lot of, I think, business ideas are there. There are new things basically that market has become more like uh, Pan India, I would say Pan World also. From if I talk about more than 10 years back or 20 years, we never had an opportunity of to market our product within India or Pan India uh, or uh, worldwide. You have e-commerce. With the growth of e-commerce, with Amazon tying up with more than 10,000 10, MSME, local artists and local entrepreneur, new entrepreneur have gone, making them market their product throughout India. So from click a button, you can have a poultry from any poultry, terracotta or other. You, you still find a lot of display of product in these e-commerce. Government has also a lot of initiative on the ETF commerce platform. They have come to ONDC, uh, free platform they have brought in. Only the problem is to connect these dots where anybody sitting here would be interested in doing business, but she may not be able to know how to start it. So the seminar today, I think, in the college is providing that platform that you should have a knowledge, though many of the government uh, departments are promoting uh, entrepreneurship, especially focused on women entrepreneurship, maybe uh, uh, most of the speaker will well on details. There is MSME department, MSDE department, DTDO, P Prime Minister Vishkarma uh, scheme. So all these are efforts are towards entrepreneurial development of a woman in any area, though this seminar is specific to the crafts. So you have now platform for marketing Pan India, which is duly supported by e-commerce platform in a private space, government also have initiated on that. So wherever there is disconnect, probably in getting a financial literacy or getting a training in terms of understanding GST laws, there are many vocational training by MSME sector, even the private institution are also uh, helping you out. In fact, as a company, uh, I just wanted to share that we have just opened 
uh, vocational school of learning here in uh, Red Cross uh, uh, building. We have there is a computer lab here. It is proper. It is uh, devoted, uh, uh, dedicated to the women. So training will include not only the tele computer but also learning about GST, TDS. These are the financial literacy. Basically, any entrepreneur should know. And for definitely, with this is dedicated school of learning is to to the for the women. So you have that, and there is also a school of beauty and wellness. This is also again for women entrepreneurship uh, development. So anybody can take a training and maybe go for self employment or maybe do any activity. So these are the aids and this which are being supported by private sector or by public sector for women empowerment. So only you you see lot of things here also in if you say one just take one for product activity which is which are planned by India by. Uh, central government being there, we have in Vishapur, in Lesbos, we have other product also uh, identified, we have Punjab uh, Fulkaris also, and I have met many self-help group, uh, I think uh, uh, I, if I am not wrong, Sharpur boosts maximum self-help group, which is a scheme of central government funding, because this is self-help group organizes or collect their uh, total strengths and market or produce and market the product. This is also one of the big scheme of the central government. So, Sharpur boosts, I think, large number of self-help groups. They are in various type of entrepreneurship. Name anything, they are in uh, product, uh, they are in process of uh, doing that. So, there is specific scheme in the central government for three percent reservation for procurement in the gems in the government procurement for the women entrepreneur prior itself. So there are various channels. Only thing is they have to connect the dot and work on that. I'm sure that by today's seminar they will be going back with appropriate not knowledge. And entrepreneurs uh, the passion or uh, I would say for specific to the this subject craft they are in inborn uh, have a more of a talented uh, craftsmanship uh, uh, in whatever the work they do, and uh, in from our perspective, if we say uh, that there are policies, procedures, and uh, also trading part, only they need right direction, how to contact, where to contact, and to increase the mobility. They are there to uh, do a startup. You call it self help group uh, channel, though we might be aware of that. First entrepreneur on the national level came as a woman uh, empowerment or woman uh, industry side uh, was legit puppet. I think many people would be knowing that when we were kids, that was the largest venture from the woman entrepreneurship uh, where in India. So these are the various uh, uh, issues, challenges which are addressable provided they get the right direction, right? they can connect the dot, there are schemes to financially support at each stage, government scheme for training them, so all these activities are there, so uh, there are great opportunities for selling Pan India also, so I think this is the right time for anybody, any woman to venture into the thoughts or taking the either crafts or any other activity to a uh, level where they can be a themselves a businesswoman. Uh, with these uh, words, uh, thank you for inviting me uh, for this seminar. Uh, I wish the seminar a great success. Thank you very much, sir. Beta, Chavla, sir, the lecture to on top to baad ek cheez ta tonu pata do cheez ta pata chaliya honiya pehli eh ke he is very humble jinna ne kiya ke main expert nahi hai te dusra eh ke actually he is an expert the points he touched like from women empowerment to self help groups and district kushal for all that he is a very experienced person he is a very renowned ca o sara sanu pata si par jo assi decision kita sati management ne te principal sir ne milke ke he should be invited here as an expert ohna ne pura usnu prove kita ke this is a wise choice te sir main to the self help groups di gal kiti to i will just like to uh, tell you that we have also created a self help group in our college we are in the process of registering that 
तो वी आर डूइंग फोर थिंग्स इन दैट सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप द नेम ऑफ द ग्रुप इज सशक्त युवा इट्स बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स एंड अ लोन एंड ग्रुप तो इन दैट वी आर हैविंग अ वर्मी कंपोस्ट प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग पिट्स इन आवर आउटसाइड ग्राउंड देन वी हैव अ डिजाइन स्टूडियो लाइक ऑल दीज फ्लेक्सेस एंड दीज थिंग्स वी आर डिजाइनिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो देन वी हैव अ फूड सेफ फूड थिंग like we are collecting we are not producing it but we are collecting the organic foods from around and providing it to the students and one is the soap making the soap making basic soap making which is at home so we are just we have initiated in this year only and we hope that it will grow into uh, it will be beneficial to students so thank you chaudhary sir once again now i invite shri mg uh, imj sirji for his presidential address He is also a stalwart of the industry, and uh, you you will be you will be enriched by listening to his talk. Please. Good morning to all of you, uh, dear Doctor Anup, principal of the. ये भी कॉलेज सरदार परमजीत सिंह परमार मिस्टर तरुण जावला एंड डॉक्टर गुप्ता रिस्पेक्ट लेडीज डियर स्टूडेंट इट्स इन डीड ए प्लेयर टू बी हियर दिस मॉर्निंग टू शेयर माय व्यूज ऑन दिस सेमिनार वन डे स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय आईसीएसएसआर इज प्रमोशन ऑफ economic empowerment and entrepreneurship development amongst the women in the chosen specifically the crafts uh, section in north west india i will be talking to you in general about what the status it did is on the economic front and particularly the contributions by the women in our country i would like to take you back to an era Say 50 years back, 60 years back. I am from a rural background. I have seen what was happening in our society at that time. The gender disparity was visible in all spheres of life. Men, mainly because of the bread earner in the family. who always have the first say in every walk of life to the extent i have seen with my own eyes happening the husband walking ahead and the wife following him with a gap of 6 to 7 feet behind they are not talking to each other they will be having a common destination to reach i have seen disparity in the families where the boys but preferred the diet plan for the boys was different and the diet plan for the girls was different that was the mindset of our society at that time lodi was celebrated only when a boy is born in the family when a girl is born perhaps it was a taboo to express happiness openly in the society generally the family may be happy but the relatives and the people around you would look at it differently that was the mindset now when we have come out of this mindset there are very very good developments society has matured things have changed our priorities have changed and women have come up very very well in our society their contributions cannot be underestimated then an era came when the quota system came women were encouraged to come forward and 30% 30% so many schemes to promote the participations of the women in the advancement of the society punches sarpanches and other posts in the videos office were also filled but what exactly was happening on the ground was the punch is a lady 
because there is a quota, but when it comes to holding a meeting, the husband would come forward, occupy the chair of the punch or the sarpanch, conduct the meeting when the wife is missing. That's another story of a mindset. You will be surprised till very recently, still in some pockets of the country, these things are prevalent. So the most important in terms of context is the males, people in prominent positions have to really consider changing the mindset, how to create a kind of infrastructure to reach those pockets, to influence people that this is probably not the right thing to do. Yes, we have progress, we are progressing, there is no doubt about it. But yet there are grey areas where we have to work. Let me narrate you a very interesting story of our own industry house, right in Hoshiakpur. Mahavir Mill, uh, the famous name, still people call our uh, mill, mill's name as Mahavir Mill, which is now Vardhaman Yards and Threads Limited. Uh, since I am associated with the organization for the last more than 45 years, I saw this happening on the ground. We started recruiting females in a Hoshiarpur spinning mill in the year 76-77. We succeeded partially. Girls would come and uh, they would stick uh, for a long period uh, but would leave the jobs. People outside in the city, people in the villages would not look at those employees, female employees with respect. And somewhere this fear in the society was still prevalent that perhaps when they are going to do this job, uh, something disrespectful is happening. And we were finding it extremely difficult to have the number of employees. At that time, we were managing with just 8% to 10%. I can narrate this journey in few words. Today, uh, we are close to 50% in some of the units and at that time from 8 to 10 percent. What we started doing, when I say people in position can make differences, can create impactful presence in the society, we started in a small group, we would go to the villages. I was also one of them who would go in a small group. No doubt I was at the manager position at that time. We would meet the punches and sit punches in the villages, explain to them what this organization is what we are doing, what we are manufacturing, what is the kind of job we are going to happen to the female employees. Then, punches and some punches cooperated. They would invite the parents of the prospective students who were not going to pursue higher studies beyond 8th class, 9th class because of the poor conditions prevalent, the financial situation with the fam families. We hired buses. We requested the parents to come, please come, we will bear the expenses, we will offer you lunch, we will offer you tea, see a little bit, don't do anything else. They came, visited the industry, over two, three, four visitors and then involvement of previously 17 or 18 villages in the district of Sharpur saw the results coming up. And we started seeing that now the confidence of the parents is much better. When it comes to bringing a change in the society, it is not an easy thing to do. You have to have courage, you have to have conviction, you have to have perseverance to continue to make efforts on that direction. We were the first in Punjab, but one group, to bring out a modern hostel of working women uh, which is still in existence, uh, capacity 300 girls, wherein we also started inviting girls from the nearby distance. That, that is how the uh, story goes about it. Now, in India's economic growth, when it comes to GDP, I would say 70% contribution is because of the women and women participation, which is unfortunately today is just below the average of the globe uh, 
contributions of the women. There are countries like Iceland and so many other European countries where the, the contribution is more than 75 to 80 percent in those countries. Our target in Indian context is also by the government is 50 percent, which is today close to 37 percent. The, I'm sure all of you must have heard the MasterCard Index, which is for the starts of the, particularly for the women entrepreneurship. There again we are lacking in a survey of 65 countries, uh, our rank is 57 as of date, which clearly indicates we need to do still a lot in this direction. Government of India has fixed definition for the women entrepreneurship. A lady who is in control, who owns 51% of the capital share and is employing more than 50% of women employees in an enterprise is officially called a woman enterprise. In the North Western region, I would just divide it broadly into three categories. In the first category is uh, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. In the second category is Punjab, Haryana, and CR. That includes Delhi also. The states which are in this zone are lagging behind when it comes to the establishment of the women entrepreneurship are Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, JMK. Uh, these are the cat, 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 categories. Now, to promote uh, the promotion, to promote the involvement of women, there are a number of schemes uh, by Ministry of MSM. I will just name few of them. I will not go into the details, but schemes are many. There are seven, eight extremely good schemes. Unfortunately, the utilization of these schemes is abysmally low. It is less than 20%. The reason is knowledge, information on those schemes is just like in the pockets. It doesn't reach the ladies who are really sitting on the fences to do something in life to stand on their own, own feet. Now, to name a few of them, uh, one is the uh, Mudra Jojana, the other is the Stand Up India, the third is Mela Koir Jojana, third is the Credit Guarantee Fund, uh, uh, then Udayam Shakti, etc. I'll come back to the private sector, what private sector is doing. Like Vardhaman I said, our aim is to have 50% across the board, including senior positions to have female employees. Textile is a labor-intensive manufacturing industry, the world over. The garment industry, the world over, is run almost by 90% of the females. Gap Inc. You are fond of going for branded products, I am sure each one of you has heard about the Gap Inc. It's an American company. They handle clothing and into retail in more than 75 countries globally. They have come up with a beautiful concept. The name of the concept is PACE, which is Personal Advancement and Career Enhancement. This was initiated by USA somewhere in the beginning of the 21st century. In India, it came in the year 2005-2006. Gap, with whichever company they are associated because of the business, like from Vardhaman Resource Valley. They go meet the management and arrange for a module to impart training only to females. 
It is a 48 hours program to be covered in seven days and it is a holistic approach, approach to prepare a woman to stand on her own fit in the society. This program involves the program on hygiene, safety, then even the financial literacy, what is the budget, how the woman must plan the domestic budget, budget also, the skill, skill development, the communication, confidence building, stress management and what not. It is not only their faculty come. Suppose it is Vardhavan, they prepare a team of trainers to begin. They are our own employees. And first, this, they are certified that yes, they are capable of handling a particular topic under this PACE program. Vardhavan so far has covered more than 3,000 females at the group level and GAP has covered more than 3 million of workforce more in more than 70 countries. So that's the kind of efforts people are taking care to make sure the involvement of the, uh, the women workforce in the country. It's very interesting, uh, when I was chairman CII Himachal Pradesh, I met one lady in Delhi who uh, did her MBA from Harvard University. Is from, she is from Rajasthan, a young lady of 32 years of age. This happened about seven or six years back. She is a sarpanch of the village, a very backward village, and she has decided to dedicate her life for the upliftment of the females in that area. And she appeared in a number of magazines in our, our country. It's not for that she is trying to win some game or fame out of this, but she genuinely felt concerned that there is a need for the educated people to come forward and take ownership of driving certain initiatives which can really help in designing and improving this. The World uh, Bank has said in a, in a, I would say, you can say it's a prediction, but they have done on the basis of the calculation that if India wants to improve its GDP by absolute 1.5 percent points, then the 50 percent participation of the women in this country is a must, which as earlier said is now close to 37 percent, but the way the country's leadership is now come up with clarity on schemes and focus, uh, it's going to happen. Now, lastly, there are challenges, which briefly I mentioned earlier also, a number of schemes are in place, people can avail it. Unfortunately, there is nothing like a dedicated structure for communication which can lead. Uh, pardon me for saying so, if somebody is from the government sector sitting here, there are a number of positions today across all departments where our government employees are under utilized. One is having dedicated health desks at some of the places. Two punches and punches and chats, musical car positions could also be roped in. Where the first of all information, communication and knowledge is important so that the participation and accusing the females to come forward that yes, they are capable, they can do a lot many things like this. I'm sure seminars of this kind, platforms, or such papers in the second part are also going to be presented, would throw open new avenues, new ideas would come up, and surely all such efforts make a meaningful, uh, provide a meaningful direction. Thank you for uh, inviting me to be part of this. Uh, thank you. I hope you will enjoy this. Thank you very much, sir, for your enlightening talk. And I'm sure that students will definitely be feeling enriched and motivated 
फायर बर्ड्स द एक बेटा एक और बात जो मैं बोलने चाहूँगा कि हमारे दोनों स्पीकर्स ने कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स की बातें की हैं कि रेड क्रॉस के साथ है या कुछ हमारी कंपनी ने ऐसा किया वैसे जो भी प्रोजेक्ट्स ये लोग करते हैं तो दैट इज़ बेसिकली अंडर सी एस आर दैट इज़ कॉरपोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और अगर आपको पता हो तो हमारे कॉलेज में भी इन्होंने किया है एंड सर वी एक्सपेक्ट मोर ऑल्सो सो नाउ नेक्स्ट आई विल लाइक टू इन्वाइट प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर संजीव गुप्ता जी फ्रॉम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश ही इज अवर की नोट स्पीकर फॉर द डे लिविंग द की नोट एड्रेस Right 
in the matters of property, inheritance, and uh, divorce. Even the uh, Britishers never did any effort to prioritize the attribution of the payment. They prioritized the rather stereotype derivative of Indian women. Uh, women were excluded from political sphere and uh, efforts uh, were made for social justice based on women. And whatever the reformers tried to overcome the social uh, justice of the women, they were got the resistance from the Britishers. So uh, that is the point which I have said. And ultimately, we go to the English literature. Now, how women is being treated? For example, uh, when we talk about men as a default, there are many other contexts where men are given as a default. There is a word used for four fathers. And four mothers are given to someone. Have you ever heard four mothers? Like man power. Uh, we use industrial sector service very much. We use man power, not women power. No, man made, not women made. Man hours. Enough number of problems that we are using, and which are biased words, which are used even in English language. Which occupational titles like clergyman, anchorman, craftsman. Our, the seminars on craft industry. I was searching, is there any word listing craft women? But the job we make craft, man, women down on the road, red line is that's wrong. But when I was making my presentation, I have put the word craft women instead of craft man. So ultimately, it's in certain dictionaries, it also exists, but it is not in a book. Then double standards, uh, terms like uh, assertive, bossy, assertive is used for the men, bossy for the women. Agar ho koi bhaar na gaya, ki boss, principal jo hai. वो अगर विमेन हो तो उसके लिए वर्ड यूज किया जाता है बॉसी कॉर्पोरेट में अगर आपकी हेड अच्छा फीमेल है तो बॉस बॉसी तो मेल के लिए असर नॉर्मली इट्स हैपन इट्स ए कल्चर डेट इज परफेक्ट और नॉर्मली विमेन के लिए टाइटल दो यूज किया जाता है मिसिस एंड मिस और मेन के लिए एक ही मिस्टर अगेन वी वॉन्ट टू नो हर मैरिटल स्टेटस बिकॉज इट्स वेरी रेलिवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन टू अस देन इवन जॉब पोस्टेज वेन एवर वी do the job posting in our, uh, from the HR department to the potential employees. We use competitive, assertive, uh, and these are the word to attract the male applicants. Uh, even gender pronouns, uh, we are with, when we talk about a doctor, it should normally taken as a male, not uh, something has changed. But whenever we talk about nurse, female ke figure di maal mein jati, nurse as a male nazar hai, thoda aur sa lagta hai. अगर हम संस्कृत और हिंदी की बात बात करें दे आर जेंडर न्यूट्रल एंड एक्सक्लूसिव जैसे सभी व्यक्ति इट्स हैज नथिंग टू विद पर्सन जेंडर स्पेसिफिक व्यापारी समर्थक नागरिक सहायक उद्यमिता समर्थ एक्सेप्टर नॉट मेनी वर्ड्स विच आर नॉट जेंडर बायस जेंडर न्यूट्रल और इंग्लिश वर्ड्स जो जेंडर बायस है आई एम जस्ट हाईलाइटिंग सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स Just a business man. Business women now we have started using for the last 25 30 years, but it's very rare. But Hindi may Sanskrit may particular word is vepari. Vepari in Sanskrit. English craftsman shirt and Hindi hast shirt. Sanskrit hast kala and craftsman and fireman. They are not many words. It means that the language given to us by the Britishers by the globe. It is also gender biased. Even though our tradition, our culture, our Veda, our uh, system was not gender biased, ultimately it has percolated and it has really given a severe dent on the interpersonal relationship between the women and the men, and which have become right now very much toxic. Chhote se issue hai na wo, chhota se issue hai na ye issue se hai, and that has. Really, by the society was. So ultimately, we can say that uh, with the invaders, philosophy of the invaders, how they have treated the women, that British era and all that, they have really deleted the role of women and polluted the minds of our ancestors. Why I'm using ancestors? Where is it? Step up, okay, ancestors, okay. And what we are doing? We are reinforcing the stereotype of mindset over future generations. तो ये बहुत बड़ा एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वार्टर फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी टू टू द एडवेंट ऑफ सोशल मीडिया देन टेक्नोलॉजी देन ओपन माइंड सेट अमाउंट यंगस्टर्स 
things have started uh, changing and they have, they have taken a place. But still, uh, there are not many things to be do because, as I said uh, right now, that male or female ki diet may be different. This is male ki diet and female ki hai. Ye female is college mein jana rahe. Aur hum khud karte hai. Aur meri daughter hai, to meri liye uska level of treatment aga jaya ki uska boyfriend nahi ho sakta. Mera son hai, uska boyfriend ho sakta hai. Uska girlfriend ho sakta hai. तो इसका इस तरह का माइंडसेट अभी भी एग्जिस्ट करता है सब और मेरे को फुल फ्रीडम है मेरी वाइफ को मेरे स्पाउस को फ्रीडम इस तरह की माइंडसेट जो अभी भी चल रही है सो कमिंग टू द क्राफ्टमैनशिप एंड वुमेन इम्पॉर्टेंट सो एज वी नो दैट क्राफ्ट वुमेनशिप एज प्ले क्रूशियल रोल इन पोर्ट्रेट द वुमेन्स इम्पावरमेंट एंड इंप्रोशिप सिंस द वेडिंग इट्स नॉट राइट नाउ इट्स Women were doing this job of handicraft and craft womanship, and it has offered a platform for skill development, economic independence, and uh, cultural preservation. And it's a part of human civilization. In India, we have diverse cultures and history and different regions which are promoting the craft. So, uh, India is known as global level handicraft culture, and uh, at present, we can say that India is a backbone of craft industry. I'm just sharing some of the. Uh, Figures, figures, not figures. Technically, I'm sharing some of the photos with you. So we blurred here, but we have already years. So Tarun has already talked about the self-help groups, and we were talking about the self-help groups in the college also. It is a very important initiative that has taken place at the various stage level. When we were talking about. Maya Sangatha is in Himachal Pradesh. One of my students is conducting a study on self-help groups. So I have collected these photographs and information from him. Then we can talk about Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir. And these reasons are promoting the empowerment and entrepreneurship of some women. And women have become self-reliant up to some extent, not up to the mark. And uh, they are revitalized the additional craft. Uh, just uh, giving you the picture of uh, various northern and western craft hubs. Uh, it has been already discussed uh, about the various craft hubs. I am just giving the uh, photographs. And you will see all these photographs, one or two photographs. You will see maybe, and rest of the photographs only females. It means this sector is uh, dominantly uh, by the women and they are working in this sector. I am not going into detail Kashmir, what is happening in Kashmir, then Himachal Pradesh, Kangra, Kangra painting and all that, carpets, rugs, leather and teeks, it's very famous for uh, all these things, you know, Uttarakhand, then uh, timber carving and all that, then Uttar Pradesh, then uh, Pashmina shawls, what are the various products, Pashmina shawls, then woodwork, even though in woodwork some of the, um, maximum it's by the males, but uh, some of the females are also doing the woodcraft and all that. Uh, because of their better mind, because they are very good and articulate in designing and all that. Then pottery work, then leather work, then jute, then brass handicraft, bamboo handicraft, fulkaris, as we already talked about in Punjab and Haryana, they are very good for fulkaris and uh, it's a symbol of respect uh, when it is given to a woman and former between saris and silk. This is another uh, product that carpet weaving, that uh, I'm talking about the uh, handicraft blocks of Himachal Pradesh. These are the, and you will see these are the handicraft blocks, any block. These are the photographs from the block itself collected by one of my students. I'm showing you all these are photographs. These are the items, uh, handicraft items from the blocks. And I've also seen in Himachal, it's very good and very rich in handicrafts. And especially I've met so many women there and self have been working there, uh, really they are making a mark on the Himachal economy. Uh, Bhagavanana block, Kagra, then uh, Rumsu, Panchayat Kullu, Bajna block, women power, uh, then, then again uh, the last Panchayat Kullu, handicraft work in uh, Kanad Panchayat Kullu, and uh, Mashorba block, Chupal block, if you go through all this, a slide show is that I'm entertaining this is so everybody knows it. But the presence of women is there in the handicraft. And the theme of seminar is well suited, that crafts industry. 
and its a major role is played by the women. Only couple of men with the hand. They are working in that sector. Now, while I was going through, uh, one of the theme of the seminar also was also related to the e-commerce, and I was thinking, how can we create a work-life balance situation for women? Normally, when we talk in management, work-life balance, we take, we have to divide it by 24 hours by three, eight hours for your work, eight hours for family and self, and eight hours for your sleep and all other activities or routine. It means there should be a perfect uh, work-life balance. Uh, it's my own personal experience when women is working and normally uh, they start their working from the home. When they start their working from the home, they are the moms also, they are the wives also. Their roles has increased multiple times. Uh, she can't quit cooking, she can't leave babysitting, she can't ignore the husband and she has to sleep also. So that very particular situation is very difficult to create a work-life balance type of situation. It's is really, really, very tough. Uh, during me, we are so demanding. We always expect, if, even though it's happening to me when I'm at Dhamshala, I do everything my own. When I'm at, uh, along with my wife, I see towards my wife. So this is happening. And when we are seeing towards wife, or our spouse, better half, so how can they come out of this pressure? In that very scenario, was finding that e-commerce digitalization uh, really they can create a wonders. At present, uh, when we talk about cryptocurrency and NFTs and all that, uh, even though this concept has not been taken at, uh, by the various self help groups, I really recommend that uh, professionals they have come up with that. But you should create your own design, go for NFTs and, uh, and get the benefits out of that. But here I'm. Uh, Thank you, Professor Kapil. Respected Shri Vikram Singhil, Head of Department of Economics, SPM College, Mukheria. Dr. Anu Bajaj, Head of Department of Economics, JCD, DAV College, Dasua. I welcome you to this institution which is marching towards its 100 glorious years in 1926. So, I hope the papers to be presented in this seminar may definitely enrich the knowledge level of the participants, especially our students. And we all at the end of this seminar will get with the many thought-provoking ideas. Once again, I welcome you all to this seminar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I'll request uh, uh, Dr. Sapna. She is the repertoire for this session and she will be accompanying our chairperson here. And I'll request the technical team for the second a technical session to kindly accompany Shri Vikram ji to their site. And we will be starting it. I, I hope all the uh, paper presenters are here. Sapna ma'am, to see at the hand. And pleasant greetings to everyone. First of all, I want to congratulate Dr. Varsha Mahindra ji head of the Department of Economics to organize a national seminar with such a wonderful theme that is Women Empowerment in the Craft Sector. And I also welcome all the paper presenters here and there are 10 paper presenters here and I just convey out the rules that each paper presenter will get 10 minutes time and try to wind up within 8 minutes and the house will be open for discussion in the last and kindly note down your questions if you have any then in the end we will discuss all these questions okay the first paper presenter is Manisha DAV College of Education Hushyar and uh, she is a student of MED and her title of paper is Challenges faced by a woman entrepreneur, Manisha.
Good afternoon everyone. My name is Manisha and I am the student of MED from DAV College of Education, Musharpur. And my topic is challenges and problems faced by women entrepreneurs. So to begin with the introduction, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru has said, when women move forward, the family moves and the village moves and services, goods and services more satisfactory to the customers. Entrepreneur is a catalytic agent of change. It is also an instrument in sustaining the process of economic development. Every country tries to achieve economic development for prosperity and better life standard of the people. Development has economic, social and political dimensions. So contribution of women is essential for the economic activities for healthy nation building. Women entrepreneurs create new jobs for themselves and others. By being women entrepreneurs engaged in the business due to the push and pull factors. A sense towards independent decision making is urge. Entrepreneurs choose a profession as a challenge and as an urge to something to. Such a situation is described as the pull factors. While in push factors, women engaged in their business activities due to family's compulsion and the responsibilities is thrust upon them. Now there are some common problems faced by the women entrepreneurs. The problems and the constraints inter experienced by women entrepreneurs have resulted in restricting the expansion of women entrepreneurship. Women in India face many problems such as social norms and stereotypes. One of the biggest challenges faced by women entrepreneurs in India is social norms and stereotypes. That suggests women's roles should be limited to the domestic households. This makes it difficult for the women to break free from the traditional gender roles and pursue careers in entrepreneurship. Second, access to capital. Women entrepreneurship in India often is limited access to capital, which can make it difficult to start and grow their business. Women face additional hurdles in obtaining loans and credits which are often biased against women-owned businesses. Number third, lack of supportive ecosystem. Women entrepreneurs in India often face a lack of supportive ecosystem that provides mentorship, training programs and networking events. These resources are critical for the women to build their skills knowledge and confidence as entrepreneurs. Number four, balancing family and business. Women entrepreneurs in India often struggle to balance their family's responsibilities with the demands of running a business. Women are still expected to prioritize the domestic duties which can make it difficult to devote enough time and energy to the businesses. Number fifth is discrimination. Women entrepreneurs in India often face discrimination in the marketplace, especially in male-dominated industries. This can make it difficult for the women to compete and succeed in the market. Number six, limited access to markets. Women entrepreneurs in India often have limited access to markets due to their lack of networks, resources, as well as experiences. This can make it difficult for them to find customers, secure contracts and grow their businesses. Number seven, legal constraint. Women entrepreneurs in India face legal constraints in obtaining licenses, registering their businesses and assessing government support. These legal hurdles can make it difficult for women to start and grow the new business. Number eight, gender bias. Women entrepreneurs in, in India often face gender bias in assessing resources, including credit, information, and technology. This can hinder their ability to innovate and complete the marketplace. Number nine, lack of role models. 
Women entrepreneur in India often lack role models who can inspire and guide them in their entrepreneurship. The lack of female entrepreneurs in India, leadership positions can make it difficult for women to see themselves as an entrepreneur, to confront to traditional gender roles and expectations, which can hinder their entrepreneurial ambitions. This pressure can make it difficult for the women to pursue their entrepreneurial dreams and make them free from gender biases. Number 17 is Mobility constraints. Women in India have to face a lot of restriction to their mobility. Our society still has some conservativeness. And due to that, career of the woman is limited to, limited to four walls of a kitchen. Though women face lots of problems being mobile in entrepreneurial activities, the community problem has been eliminated to a very certain extent and the expansion of educational awareness to all. Number 18 is business administration knowledge. Women must be educated and trained continuously to acquire the skills and understanding in all the required function areas of the business venture. This will make the woman excel in decision making and develop a good business skills. Number 19 is financial assistance. Most of the women, especially in rural areas, are not aware about the financial assistance provided by the various institutions. The efforts taken by the women entrepreneurs may not be able to reach the entrepreneurs in rural as well as backward areas. Number 20 is cost. Some businesses have highly production and operation in adversely affect the expansion of women entrepreneurs. So to conclude, uh, I would like to say that while there, are, there has been many progress in the number of women uh, entrepreneurs in India, but there are still significant challenges or the problems that need to be addressed. So women entrepreneurs face social norms, discriminations, limited access to capital and lack of supportive ecosystem. So addressing these issues, we will require a multifaceted approach that includes policies and programs that provide the greater access to capital, knowledge, cultural and social changes that will promote the gender equality. So by overcoming these barriers, women entrepreneurs can contribute to India's economic growth development which will achieve the higher rate of economic empowerment as well as independence. Thank you. Uh, so today I am Dr. Ritu Kumra and I am working as economics and English teacher in Government Girls Senior Secondary Smart School Rebe Monday. And uh, today uh, this is a research paper in fact and uh, the topic of my paper is Empowering Women Through the Social Enterprise that is the case of rural self-employment training institutes in India. So first of all, I would like to tell about what is the purpose of this research paper. Uh, so main objective of this research paper is to gain the deeper understanding of rural self-employment training institutes and to declare this institutes as a social enterprise on the basis of five main components of uh, social uh, and entrepreneurship and how these they are empowering the women by providing the entrepreneurial training. So first of all, a little bit I would like to tell about what are the rural self-employment training institutes. In short, we called it as our cities. Our cities, uh, these are, uh, this is the program which was started by the government of India uh, under the skill development policy in 2014. Uh, earlier, uh, in 1982, in fact, it was started uh, under the name of Root City. So, this R cities, these are the replicable model of the root cities and these they provide a short term training to all the unemployed youth in all over India and at present 590 R cities are working all over the uh, India and in Punjab, if I talk about in Punjab, in our state total 17 R cities are working in different districts. So, every district is having almost one, uh, just six districts are there in Punjab which are not having the R cities. Otherwise, each and every uh, institute they are uh, having the, uh, sorry, districts they are having these RCT institutes which provide, uh, the, these are non-profit institutes and uh, they are having the social impact 
in identifying motivating training assisting the youth of india including women to take self employment and making entrepreneurship as their career and total 60 programs uh, they are uh, started by this rcts under which they provide the training to uh, the rural youth not rural urban people also they can uh, uh, be the part of these trainings and uh, um, so uh, the methodology and approach which was used by me in this research paper is the qualitative as well as quantitative in the qualitative approach uh, in depth interview technique was adopted and which the directors and the senior faculty of the various rct institutes uh, it was taken and as well as in the state of punjab basically i have conducted this survey and uh, uh, it was and the, the collection of the data was taken from 588 women who had already taken the training from this rct institute then sample it has been selected on the proportionate basis which in turn it consists 5% of the total number of the women etp trainees and the sample districts nine total sample districts i have chosen from the entire punjab so this was the methodology which i have adopted so a little bit i would like to introduce about what is a social entrepreneurship uh, so we have talk about different types of entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship is somewhat different from it because uh, a person he start an enterprise he start his uh, own enterprise just for earning the profit but these social entrepreneurs they are not for earning the profit but they they are started especially by the government by the stakeholders are the government and the banks are also helping these uh, institutes and uh, so they meet the socio economic needs of the economically weaker section of the society by utilizing the innovative techniques that ensures the sustainability to create the social value and some uh, uh, have defined it as the ent social entrepreneurship is a process of building or transforming the institutions to the advance solutions to some economic some social problem so they they give a solution to some social problem because we are having the problem of still we are having after uh, so many years of independence still we are having the problem of poverty unemployment uh, in our country so these social enterprises they basically they give a solution to such social problems uh, so this social entrepreneurship concept is very important nowadays
The role of entrepreneur in economic development has raised the standard of living, economic independence, benefits of new firms, business, creation of jobs, encourages capital formation, elimination poverty and community development. Flexibility, good social behavior, open mind and desire to take personal responsibilities will fit in the qualities of a true entrepreneur. Some of the important qualities are necessary for a successful women entrepreneur are desire to excel, hard work, self-confidence, initiative, moderate risk taker, innovative, motivation, optimistic, analytical ability and independence etc. Lastly, we can say that women represent half of the world population and gender inequality exists in every nation on the planet. The greatest need of the hour is change of social attitude towards women. When women move forward, the family moves, the village moves and the nation moves. Women empowerment is essential as they are thought and their value systems lead the development of a good family, good society and ultimately good nation. It can be said that today we are in a better position wherein women participation in the field of entrepreneurship is increasing at a considerable rate. The unexplored talents of young women can be identified, trained and used for various types of industries to increase the productivity of industrial sector. Women are no doubt is the best entrepreneur to lead the head of any institute of recruit. We can give some examples of like Mrs. Nita Ambani and Indra Nui etc. are some young entrepreneurs. Ultimately, women's entrepreneurs is a powerful tool for economic empowerment, poverty reduction and social development. From very beginning, women take part in each and every venture along with her family, later on with her husband. Today, in this modern era, women are entrepreneurs with excellence. Thank you. The purpose of this study is to know the role of women entrepreneurs. The self-help groups have paved the way for the economic independence of rural women. Women entrepreneurs play a significant role in domestic development while innovating and starting enterprise. Lack of familial financial support, suitable training, proper education, mobility are common issues for women. In the light of several steps taken by Indian government, NABARD has given them access to microloans. It is based on recognition that the ability of poor women for entrepreneurship could be encouraged with secured loans. Self-help groups are one of the best way of microfinance provided by government. This paper reviews concisely the literature in this field and addresses particularly the role of self-help groups in promoting self-employment that improves the social well-being of have not. Have not. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Neha Manmar and I am a student of Amcom in DEB College of Sharpur. My topic for research paper is the role of e-commerce in women empowerment and the abstract is as follows. The purpose of the study was to explore the role of e-commerce in women empowerment the aim is to inspect how women have gained a foothold in many e-commerce areas, how the role is played by the government in the development of e-commerce in developing countries. The study is based on an analysis of both secondary literature including reports and data pertaining to various studies on the role of e-commerce in women empowerment. E-commerce has helped women in economic empowerment as it has increased income and financial independence among women entrepreneurs. Further, it has helped them to enhance skills and knowledge in digital literacy, business management and online marketing among women involved in e-commerce. It has helped them to improve their access to market and business opportunities for women entrepreneurs. Despite various benefits, the barriers and challenges faced by women in utilizing e-commerce are digital illiteracy and access to technology. Further, gender stereotypes also limit women's choice in e-commerce, limited access to capital, and financial resources has impeded women from establishing and scaling e-commerce business. 
Women may also face heightened cyber security risks that threaten their engagement in online transactions and entrepreneurship. And inadequate policies may fail to address gender-specific challenges in the e-commerce sector, hindering the full realization of economic empowerment. Thank you. Assessing finance, limited networking opportunities, managing work and domestic duties, gender bias, stereotypes compared to their male counterparts, and women entrepreneurs encounter challenges in obtaining capital. There are multiple factors that could cause this. <coughs> Building professional networks, assessing mentorship, and forming partnership may be a challenge for women entrepreneurs, which are crucial for business growth and development. Research paper explores the challenges, examines uh, their root cause, and offers suggestions for policymakers and businesses to address how to solve it. और वुमेन्स आगे आगे क्योंकि हैंडीकैप सेक्टर रूरल एज वेल एज सेमी अर्बन का बहुत अच्छा ऑक्यूपेशनल ऑक्यूपेशन है सो प्रोवाइडिंग एजुकेशन इन पार्ट ट्रेनिंग एसेस पार्किंग टू बोथ डोमेस्टिकली एंड इंटरनेशनल लेवल प्रमोटिंग जेंडर इक्वालिटी दिस इज द कोर्स एंड प्रोवाइडिंग फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस टू देम ओके सो बेस्ड टू प्रमोट अवर वुमेन के लिए हम जो हमने पीछे प्रीवियस स्लाइड में भी किया वो मैं कहना वो सब चीजें कर सकते हैं तो इसमें हम जैसे हैंडीक्राफ्ट इंडस्ट्री को प्रमोट करने के लिए और क्या क्या कर सकते हैं जैसे फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेज अच्छे से प्रोवाइड करो इंडस्ट्रीज हैंडीक्राफ्ट इंडस्ट्री के लिए एज वी ऑल नो दैट इट इज अ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री प्रोवाइडिंग हेल्प टू द आर्टिसंस इंगेज इन दिस सेक्टर कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अच्छी करो ताकि हमारा प्रोड्यूस अच्छे से हो मतलब प्रोडक्शन अच्छी हो और लो कॉस्ट पे हो एज वी ऑल नो दैट दिस सेक्टर रिक्वायर्स वेरी लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके सो कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन में यही है कि जैसे हैंडीक्राफ्ट सेक्टर एज वी ऑल नो ये एक हमारा हेरिटेज भी है कल्चर सिविलाइजेशन से काफी पुराना हैंडीक्राफ्ट सेक्टर तो इसे हमें प्रमोट करना चाहिए और जिसमें वुमेन बहुत अच्छा रोल प्ले कर रही है एंड एन अपकमिंग वीक आगे करेंगी बस ये कि थोड़ी सी ट्रेनिंग और अवेयरनेस अपने अंदर रखें तो थैंक यू दिस टॉपिक इज आई एम डॉक्टर सरभ जी एज मैन हैज गिवन माई इंट्रोडक्शन डॉक्टर सरभ जी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डी ए वी कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन शर्म सो मई टू डेज टॉपिक इज यूज ऑफ डिजिटल मीडिया इन मार्केटिंग एंड प्रमोशन I have a lots of things in my paper, but today I am just going to give the brief introduction about this topic and the discussion. Uh, we all know that today is the era of digital marketing. Everything is now available online. So digital mode is one of the greatest mode which is highlighting even in the online shopping. If you are talking about the online shopping, it's first started. Uh, since 1995, Classmate.com was the first website which was introduced for this purpose, and after that, many other online websites. And today, in the commercial era, more than 95 percent of firms have their online, their own websites and social media pages near about 97 percent. And online shoppers. That our customers, they are from age group of 23 to 30 years, and their percentage is 48.3 percent. They are having the online shopping, and with this, 15 percent are from age group above than 30 percent, 33 to 40, 45 age group के जो लोग हैं, उनके आप एक group है जो online shopping. And even 18 year to 23 four year तक के बच्चों का एक अलग group है that is having 14 percent जो online shopping कर रहे हैं. Nobody had think of on earlier and it was unbelievable that even ash, ash that is the remaining of fuel that is on sale on Amazon. So one must have basic skills to sell anything. That is possible only due to the digital world. So digital tools are most important for online shopping. And even think about the Uber enterprises. So 
zomato these are those entrepreneurship business which are started at the online digital platform nobody have think upon that zomato like business should be there that one one's business is just to carry the things and to make it available on others but now it is one of the big entrepreneurship business of india as i am giving my perspective on today's conference first of all i would like to congratulate uh, the principal of dav college dr vinay kumar sharma ji dr varsha mahindra head of the department of economics all the faculty members dr kulwant rana ji and all the paper presenters and my dear students dear students empowering women through the craft sector it has a wonderful approach to the gender equality craft sector have been a way for women to show her creativity and if we look from the history women have always been a producer as well as seller of handicrafts and this handicrafts have passed from mothers to their daughters and empowering women will definitely increase the women approach towards the financial independence but there is a saying that behind every successful man there is a woman but who is behind a successful woman i believe personally that it is herself it is the will power that a woman has and i want to give you a message that always think like a queen because queen never afraid to fail and failure is the stepping stone of success dream big nobody can help you nobody can stand for you you have to stand for yourself and there is no overnight success of anything start thinking big you will achieve your goal find define success on your own terms and try to achieve that success according to your own rules and the hands that rock the cradle can rule the world also jo haath dhula dhula sakte hain wo desh ko bhi chala sakte hain i am honored to this icssr sponsored national seminar on the promotion of economic empowerment and entrepreneurship development amongst women in craft sector in north western india was successfully organized by the department of economics of dav college vishakhapur on march 2 2024 in this one day seminar after presenting the booklet to our esteemed guest and lighting of lamp ceremony formal welcome address to all the guests was accompanied by seminar director honorable professor dr vinay kumar sharma principal of this college he briefly introduced the guest to the audience in this seminar there was one expert talk one presidential address one keynote address four technical sessions and one valedictory address were presented approximately 100 participants attended the seminar representing different sub themes of the topic from various universities colleges institutes of different state of north west region of india all the participants interacted with each other enjoyed the lectures technical sessions as well as beautiful campus of this college this seminar was started with the introduction of the theme presented by dr varsha mahindra convener of the seminar This seminar was graced with the expert talk by Shri Tarun Chawla, followed by presidential address by Mr. I M J S Siddhu, keynote address by Professor Dr. Sanjeev Gupta, and Shri Paramjit Singh Parmar graced the event by their presence and valuable information. So we now. Having 80 extracts of research paper was also re released by. Worthy President of DAV College Managing Committee, 
and well known urologist of north india dr anup kumar and other dignitaries releasing ceremony of sovinar was followed by inauguration of dav bazaar by distinguished guests in this bazaar various items of handy crafts such as pots kulkari pedi and many more made by the students and craftsmen from the surrounding areas of the hoshiarpur were exhibited after the inaugural session four technical sessions were arranged one session was in offline mode and three sessions were in online mode these sessions were chaired by dr anu bajaj shri vikram singh gill dr rajiv sharma and professor jugal kishore soni nine participants presented their work in offline mode and around 68 participants presented their work in online mode at the different venues of the college all the technical sessions were highly informative and interactive students actively participated in all the technical sessions various suggestions were also made by the paper presenters and experts to do better in their research work so at the end uh the theme and the purpose of the seminar is justified thank you so if we see uh, what is happening uh, world around and the kind of the topic we have uh, it is very very relevant kind of theme to discuss today and today's time and i congratulate the organizer the college the principal uh, for organizing seminar नमस्कार आप देख रहे हैं जीबीसी अपडेट और मैं हूं आपके साथ मुस्कान सिंह तो आज जीबीसी की टीम होशियारपुर के डी कॉलेज पहुंच चुकी है जहां पर नेशनल सेमिनार मनाया जा रहा है तो आइए अंदर लेके चलते हैं आपको और बात करते हैं टीचर से कि ये नेशनल सेमिनार है क्या सबसे पहले तो बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैम आपका जीबीसी में मैम पहले आप अपनी इंट्रोडक्शन दे हमारे व्यूवर्स को हाँ जी और मैं डॉक्टर वर्षा महिंद्रा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकनोमिक एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट और जिदा तुम हूँ गल कर रहे थे कि जो सैमीनार हो रहा है साडा डिपार्टमेंट ऑर्गनाइज कर रहा है और मैं इस सैमीनार की कन्वीनर है और इनू स्पोंसरशिप कर रहे हैं जिम्मे कि पिछले बोर्ड लगा हुआ है वाला आई सी एस एस आर है और ये नॉर्थ वैसटर रीजनल सेंटर पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी वालों स्पोंसर हो रहा है अभी उन्होंने तय दिल तो स्वागत करते हैं और जोड़ा असं इतने टॉपिक डिस्कस कर रहे हैं दैट इज़ द इन रिसेंट सीनैरियो मोस्ट रेलीवेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज़ द प्रमोशन ऑफ इकनोमिक एंपावरमेंट एंट एंटरप्रन्योरशिप और असी स्पैशली इन्हों कवर किया क्राफ्ट सैक्टर में और तुम्हें पता है कि क्राफ्ट सैक्टर से लेडीज़ की कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन नो डाउट हूँ तो नहीं आ बहुत सारे टाइम तो पिछले कई साल तो लेडीज़ की कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इतने की है चलती आ रही है और ये क्राफ्ट सैक्टर को प्रमोट करने के लिए नो डाउट गोरमेंट्स ने हूँ तक बहुत ज़्यादा ऑलरेडी पॉलिसीज और बहुत इनिशिएटिव्स ले है गए पर ये बावजूद भी असी देखते हैं कि वीमन इन मैनी केसिज अंडर रिप्रजेंटिड है और उन्होंने प्रमोट करने के लिए सैमीनार रखा गया है साढ़े को इस टाइम च मोर दैन सैवनटी फाइव जोड़े है पार्टीसपेंट्स जिन्होंने पेपर प्रजेंट करना है वो अपने पेपर प्रजेंट करे तो उन्होंने जोड़े अपने व्यूज हो गए कि रिगार्डिंग कि इन्हों जिमें कि टॉपिक है प्रमोशन ऑफ जो है इकनोमिक एंपावरमेंट एंड एंटरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट कि इन्हों असी होर कि प्रमोट करिए और जड़िया उन्हों रिकमेंडेन हो नो डाउट असी एक्सपैक्ट करते हैं कि जी गमेंट है उन्होंने जी पॉलिसी अपना की उन्होंने की है इंप्लीमेंट कर थैंक यू मैम हमारे व्यूअर्स को इतने अच्छे से समझाने के लिए थैंक यू सो मच आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट डी ए वी कॉलेज होशियारपुर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ दी डी ए वी इंस्टीट्यूशन कमेटी एंड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दी कॉलेज फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन डे सेमिनार ऑन द प्रमोशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट अमाइंस वेमेन Uh, particularly they have chosen in craft sector in north western india so the subject of course is uh, very very relevant very important too uh, things are changing fast uh, women empowerment in all spheres of life is uh, progressing very very well intentions of the government and every sphere of life 
is falling uh, very rapidly in this direction. So this seminar, I am sure, was going to throw open new knowledge, new information, many new avenues, uh, which are ultimately going uh, to help uh, in the promotion of uh, women entrepreneurship uh, in our country. And uh, I'm sure the participants and the uh, search documents papers uh, to be presented in today's program are going to be extremely useful. My best wishes for the grand success of uh, this program. Thanks. Many, many congratulations uh, to the DAV Management Committee, uh, Principal DAV College, and uh, other sponsor like ICC. SR who is sponsoring the very thought-provoking uh, seminar, Promotion of an e Economic Empowerment and uh, Entrepreneurship Development Amongst the Women in the Craft Sector in Northwestern Region in DAV College. Uh, as uh, we all know that the nation progress is linked to the progress of women and uh, of late women participation in the business or becoming an entrepreneur is increasing. So this seminar will definitely give a further push to the all women or uh, our all the attendees to push for or work on the entrepreneur part of uh, any ventures. Uh, besides that, uh, this will also help in understanding various challenges, various avenues and various government schemes which are there to help them in bringing the entrepreneurship part of uh, uh, women entrepreneur development to the fore. And I, I wish uh, this uh, seminar to be a grand success. Thank you. नेशनल सेमिनार में घूमते हुए हमें यहां पे पीछे काफी सुंदर-सुंदर स्टॉल्स दिखे हैं तो आइए स्टॉल्स पे चलते हैं और बात करते हैं कि यहां पर किन-किन चीजों की स्टॉल लगी हुई है क्या नाम है मैम आपका uh, मैं प्रोफेसर रजनी इंडिया वी कॉलेज शाहपुर मैम यहां पे काफी सुंदर-सुंदर पेंटिंग दिख रही है तो आप अपने स्टॉल के बारे में हमें थोड़ा ब्रीफ में बता सकते हैं ओके okay. जैसे कि ये ना ये सेमिनार लगा है तो आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट का इसमें इन बच्चों को पहले ही जैसे कि वो बिजनेस करना या उनको सिखा दा कि कैसे अपने आप अपनी पेंटिंग्स को कैसे बेच सकते हो इनफैक्ट इन्होंने यहां पर बच्चों ने काफी जो है अपनी थिंकिंग से बहुत सारी पेंटिंग्स बनाई हुई है जिसमें मिनीचर आर्ट भी है इमेजिनेशन पेंटिंग्स है चारकोल स्केचिंग्स भी हैं आप देख सकते हो यहां पर काफी इन्होंने वर्क दिखाए हुए हैं बच्चों ने बेसिकली यहां पर ये है कि ये एक डीएवी का बाजार है इसमें जैसे फाइन आर्ट्स होम साइंस फैशन डिजाइनिंग एंड कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट ये हम चारों डिपार्टमेंट की इन्वॉल्वमेंट होती है जैसे ये फाइन आर्ट डिपार्टमेंट का स्टॉल है और इसमें बच्चों के द्वारा बनाई गई ही पेंटिंग्स को हमने रिप्रेजेंट किया है डीएवी के बाजार में थैंक यू मैम मैम क्या नाम है आपका प्रिया तो मैम आप यहां पे बता सकते हैं जो ये इतने सुंदर-सुंदर से स्क्रंचीज बैग्स वगैरह दिख रहे हैं इनके बारे में हां जी मैम जो बच्चों ने बनाए हैं सारे हैंडमेड है जो वेस्ट मटेरियल होता है ऑलमोस्ट बच्चों ने उसको क्रिएट करके बनाया हुआ है जैसे उनके सूट में से पीसेस वगैरह बच जाते हैं अदर्स होते हैं ना उनमें से बनाया है हैंडमेड पोर्टलीज है क्रंचेस है रबर बैंड्स है और ब्रेसलेट वगैरह इयररिंग्स बनाए हुए हैं बच्चों ने तो ये पूरा हैंडमेड है तो मैम अगर किसी स्टूडेंट को ये खरीदना तो वो परचेस भी कर सकते हैं हां जी मैम बिल्कुल वो परचेस भी कर सकते हैं थैंक यू मैम मैम क्या नाम है आपका मैम मानती मैम आपके स्टॉल पे काफी सुंदर-सुंदर शॉल्स और भी बहुत कुछ देखने को मिल रहा है तो प्लीज आप अपने स्टॉल के बारे में हमें बता सकते हैं हम ये सारा मटेरियल एक सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप की तरफ से आया है हमारे पास ये सारा हैंडमेड मटेरियल है हैंड विवन स्टफ है सारा इसमें गरम सूट का स्टफ है हमारे पास स्टॉल्स है और साथ में दरियों का स्टफ है ये सारा का सारा हैंडमेड स्टफ है इसलिए बहुत ऑथेंटिक है और ये स्टूडेंट्स ने बनाया है नहीं स्टूडेंट्स ने नहीं बनाया एक सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप है लेडीज का उन्होंने बनाया है मैम आप बता सकते हो जो इसमें एक शॉल हो गया या फिर पर्टिकुलर कोई थिंग्स हो गई तो उसको बनाने में कितना टाइम लगा होगा एक स्टफ ये जो सारे मटेरियल्स हैं ये सारे तो मशीन्स के साथ बनाए गए हैं लेकिन हैंडमेड ही हैं तो इनको बनाने में मुझे ऐसे प्रॉपर्ली नहीं पता कितना टाइम लगता है लेकिन एक स्टफ को बनाने में एटलीस्ट दो से तीन दिन जाते हैं हां जी तो मैम अगर किसी स्टूडेंट को आपसे कुछ परचेस करना हो तो वो आपके प्रोडक्ट्स खरीद भी सकते हैं 
हाँ जी मैम ये सबके लिए खरीदने के लिए अवेलेबल है आप बुकिंग्स लिखवा सकते हैं हम उनको ऑर्डर पर इसका दे देंगे और वो आपके लिए डिलीवरी कर एंड अगर प्राइस की बात करें मैम तो आप प्राइस बता सकते हैं प्राइजेस उनकी तरफ से अभी हमें हमारे पास आई नहीं है हम सिर्फ बुकिंग्स लिख रहे हैं थैंक यू मैम मैम क्या नाम है आपका अश्वेता मैम आप अपने स्टॉल के बारे में हमें थोड़ा ब्रीफ में बता सकते हैं जो यहाँ पे इतनी सुंदर सुंदर पेंटिंग्स क्राफ्ट्स देखने को मिल रहे हैं इसके बारे में यस मैम ये लिपन आर्ट है ये हैंडमेड पेंटिंग है उसमें मैंने मिरर वर्क किया हुआ है हाँ यस मैम मैंने बनाया हाँ जी और ये इसमें मंडल आर्ट एंड इसमें मैंने कलरिंग वगैरह एंड ये बॉटल्स और ये स्पून आर्ट एंड ये वॉल हैंडिंग आई थिंक मुझे जहाँ तक लग रहा है ये सारी वेस्ट मटेरियल जो होती है उनको यूज करके यस मैम पर मैम उसका तरीका प्रीशियस दिमाग से उसका यूज करना ये तो बात है तो आप बता सकते हैं पर्टिकुलर एक क्राफ्ट को बनाने में कितना टाइम लगा आपको um, इसका पहले मैंने स्केचिंग की एंड देन उसके ब्लैक कलर एंड उसके बाद जो मैंने फीलिंग वगैरह की मैक्सिम तीन दिन तो लगे तीन दिन हाँ जी इमेजिनेशन यस रेफरेंस लेके उसके बाद अपने तरीके से इसको कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट करना है सो so, हाँ. मैम बात करें इसकी तो आई थिंक ये पहले क्ले से बनाया जाता हाँ, है जी, ये एम डी एफ बोर्ड है एंड ये मोल्डेड क्ले है एंड इसको लिपन आर्ट की इसको लिपन आर्ट कर हाँ डेढ़ घंटा इतना हाँ जी हाँ जी एंड प्राइजेस की बात करें मैम तो प्राइजेस क्या है इनकी यस मैम ये लिखा हुआ है यस मैम ये लिखा हुआ है मैंशन क्या हुआ हाँ जी खरीद सकता है हाँ जी कांटेक्ट भी कर सकता है कांटेक्ट नंबर बता दीजिए ये मेरा ब्रदर मैम क्या नाम है आपका मेरा नाम एलिजा है ओके तो मैम जैसे कि आपके स्टॉल पे काफी कुछ आई थिंक पंजाबी कल्चर रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं तो आप इसके बारे में हमें थोड़ा बता सकते हैं अपने स्टॉल के बारे में जी जी Uh, जैसे ये जैसे आपने बोला कि पंजाबी कल्चर हम रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं तो हमारे पास बहुत सारी वुडन चीज़ें हैं यहाँ पे बनी हुई ये सारी हैंडमेड ही हैं वैसे बेसिकली देखा जाए तो ये चेस बोर्ड है जैसे हम देख सकते हैं ये पुराने जैसे मदानी होती थी ये वो चीज़ है फिर वो पेंसिल बॉक्स है उनमें हम और भी जैसे कोई भी अपनी एक्सेसरीज वगैरह या काइंड ऑफ ये मैं आपको ऐसे ही है ये सारा हमारा और बाकी ये तो पीढ़ियाँ आपको पता ही है एंड मगर प्राइजेस की बात करें तो प्राइस आपको कुछ पता है प्राइजेस इनके आई गेस काफ़ी जेन्यून ही होंगे बट अभी इनके प्राइस टैग्स लगने हैं तो इनाग्रेशन के बाद इनके हमें प्राइसेस पता चलेंगे थैंक यू मैम क्या नाम है आप अनिश मैम तो आपके पास काफ़ी हैंडमेड चीज़ें हैं तो आप अपने स्टॉल के बारे में थोड़ा बता सकते हैं यस मैम मेरे पास हैंडमेड रिलेटेड की रिंग्स हैं कैप्स हैं मीटन्स हैं सब कुछ है मैम इवन नी कैप्स भी हैंडमेड जो हैंड नेटेड है वो काफी वार्म नहीं नहीं मैम ये हैंड नेटेड वर्कर्स होते हैं हमारे पास जो बनाते हैं ये सारा कुछ प्राइजेस मैम थर्टी रुपीज से स्टार्टिंग हो जाती है एंड फाइव हंड्रेड तक जाएंगे ये प्राइजेस ये या डिफरेंट डिफरेंट हाँ जी मैम ये बेल्ट हैं जैसे डोर हैंगिंग के लिए डोर डेकोरेशन के लिए इसकी मैम अप्रोक्स इसकी अभी डिस्कलोज नहीं हुआ प्राइस मैम इसके इनोग्रेशन के बाद होगा डिस्कलोज काफी वर्थ इट प्राइस है हाँ जी वर्थ इट हो गए प्राइजेस हाँ जी क्या नाम है मैम आपका मैम मेरा नाम स्लोनी है ओके आई थिंक देखने से तो आप स्कूल स्टूडेंट लग रहे हो कौन से स्कूल से आए हो आप मैम गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्मार्ट स्कूल रेलवे मंडी शहर पर कौन से क्लास में पढ़ते हो मैम मैं नाइन्थ क्लास में पढ़ती हूँ यस आपने यहाँ पे काफी सुंदर नेल एक्सटेंशन बनाए हैं तो आप इसके बारे में थोड़ा बता सकते हैं मैम एक्चुअली ये नेल आर्ट है जो कि आजकल बहुत प्रोफेशनल है क्योंकि हर लड़की को अपना हमेशा परफेक्ट लुक चाहिए होता है वो अपना खूबसूरती दिखाना चाहती है जिस कारण मैम मेरे पास नेल आर्ट का सामान है जिसमें आपको नेल आर्ट करके दिखा सकती हूँ किसी पर्सन को किसी क्लाइंट को अगर चाहिए तो आप उनको यहाँ पर भी नेल आर्ट करके यस मैम यस कर एंड अगर प्राइजेस की बात करें तो प्राइस क्या है इनके मैम नेल्स के अकॉर्डिंग डिजाइन जिस टाइप का अगर डिजाइन चाहे तो हाँ जी कौन कौन से डिजाइन है आपके पास मैम जैसे ग्लीटर होते हैं सिंपल आर्ट्स होते हैं किसी को फ्लावर चाहिए होता है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा थैंक यू क्या नाम है मैम आपका अकृति अच्छा तो आपके पास काफी सुंदर सा स्टॉल लगाया है आपने जिसमें आई थिंक हैंडमेड मेहंदी भी है तो आप अपने स्टॉल के बारे में हमें थोड़ा सा बता सकते हैं हाँ जी हाँ जी बताइए मैम कैंडल बनाई मीन अभी वैक्स लैके आए ओनू मेल्ट की तो उस तो बाद रोज लिया रेड रोज उच्चे पाए मतलब वो पत्ते वगैरह पाए उच्चे तो नाल मतलब कि कप होंगे ना डि डिस्पोजिबल उच्चे रखते फिर जो होगी फिर उन्होंने क्ड
एंड आप इसके बारे में मैं थोड़ा बता सकते हैं ये क्या है आपने नहीं बनाया अच्छा आप इन सब के बारे में बता सकते हैं आपने ये हैंडमेड बनाया है जो एक बॉटल ली उसको बीच में से काट लिया फिर उनको चारों तरफ से लपेट के उसे उसमें रूह रख दी तो उसको क्ले से उसको चिड़िया बनाई चिड़िया बनाई क्ले से बनाई जी एंड ये जो बात करे हैंडमेड मेहंदी की तो ये आइडिया किसका है आपका है ओके तो आप बता सकते हैं आपने ये कैसे बनाया मेहंदी के पत्ते लिए उसको पीसा फिर उसको छान के फिर हमने कॉफी कॉफी ली कॉफी का पानी गर्म करके उसको डाला फिर ठंडा कर दिया फिर उसके बीच में लौंग डाली एंड ये जो कोन वगैरह जो आपने बनाई ये भी आपने बनाया उसका जो पैकेट है नो no. वो आपने नहीं बनाया वो आपने खरीदा है यस yes. ओके okay. तो अगर किसी स्टूडेंट को आपसे कुछ खरीदना हो तो प्राइजेस की बात करें तो आप प्राइस बता सकते हैं इनके यस बताइए इसके हैं फिफ्टी रुपीज इसके हैं ट्वेंटी रुपीज डिटर्जेंट पाउडर के हाँ जी ज्वाइंट पाउडर के हैं ट्वेंटी रुपीज बनाया वो आपने वो हमने नहीं बनाया वो किसी और ने बनाया तो फिर ये वर्क करता है कैसे लगाना है इसे कैसे यूज करना है ओके हेयर वॉश करने के बाद हाँ जी थैंक यू सर सबसे पहले तो आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है जीबीसी अपडेट में सर आज डी कॉलेज में नेशनल सेमिनार ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया था तो उसके बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे सर ये बहुत अच्छा था मेरे लिए तो फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस है क्योंकि मैंने अभी इस फील्ड में आए नहीं था ही नहीं तो इट वाज़ अ वेरी नाइस एक्सपीरियंस मुझे भी काफ़ी कुछ जानकारी मिली यहाँ पर ये सब चीज़ों के बारे में और स्पेशली जो ये डिवेलपमेंट अभी ये जो क्राफ्ट का इन्होंने दिखाया है कि हाउ द यंग स्टूडेंट्स आर टेकिंग अप टू द ओल्ड क्राफ्ट जो अभी वर्चुअली खत्म ही होती जा रही है इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थैंक यू सर अपना कीमती समय देने के लिए थैंक यू सर मैम बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका जीबीसी अपडेट में मैम सबसे पहले तो आज डी कॉलेज में नेशनल सेमिनार मनाया गया है तो आप अपने एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज हमारे व्यूअर्स के साथ शेयर करें कि आपको कैसा लगा आ, पहले तो सभी को नमस्कार आज का जो प्रोग्राम है जैसे मैं सुबह यहाँ पे एंटर हुई इस प्रोमाइसिस में तो मैंने देखा कि एक तरह से अलग ही मुझे डीएवी का माहौल महसूस हुआ क्योंकि मैं खुद भी डीएवी कॉलेज कांगड़ा की छात्रा रही हूँ तो मुझे अपने कॉलेज का वो जो समय था वो याद आ गया साथ ही साथ मुझे पूरी तरह से एक विश्वास था क्योंकि डीएवी हमेशा ही अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स को प्रोड्यूस करती है और वहाँ से हमेशा ही एक अच्छे लेवल के टीचर्स भी प्रोड्यूस हुए हैं तो आज का जो सेमिनार चला स्पेसिफिकली उसमें बहुत सारे यूनिवर्सिटीज के प्रोफेसर आए थे की नोट स्पीकर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी धर्मशाला से डॉक्टर संजीव गुप्ता जी आए थे उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छे से बताया क्योंकि मैं हिमाचल से हेल करती हूँ तो उन्होंने स्पेसिफिकली विमेन जो वहाँ पे हिमाचल में क्राफ्ट सेक्टर को लेके जो प्रोग्रेस कर रही हैं उन्होंने अपनी पिपटी के माध्यम से दिखाया कि कुल्लू की महिलाएं किस तरह से वहाँ पे कुल्लवी शाले शॉल्स बनाती हैं या कश्मीर की जो बुनकर महिलाएं किस तरह से वो कश्मीरी अपनी स्टॉल्स बनाती हैं या किस तरह से कश्मीरी साड़ीज को वो बुनती के रूप में वो चिनार के पत्तों के रूप में कढ़ाई के रूप में लेती हैं या फिर इस तरह से किन्नौरी शॉल्स को उन्होंने रिप्रेजेंट किया और सबसे बड़ी बात मुझे ये लगी कि पंजाब जैसे एरिया में हिमाचल की ये जो ट्रेडिशनल क्राफ्ट है और विमेन क्या कर रही हैं उसको उन्होंने हाईलाइट किया इसके अलावा और भी प्रोफेसर्स ने यहाँ पे गणमान्य व्यक्तियों ने अपने विचारों को साझा किया तो उन्होंने एक जो बड़ा ही स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट ये बोला एक सर थे सिद्धू साहब जी थे उन्होंने क्या बताया कि एक समय था पचास साल पहले जब विमेन को जो है इक्वल पार्ट नहीं माना जाता था अगर हंड्रेड परसेंट विमेन सोसाइटी में हंड्रेड परसेंट मेल एंड फीमेल है तो फिफ्टी परसेंट विमेन है लेकिन फिफ्टी में से सिर्फ टेन जो है अभी तक भी एंटरप्रन्योर है मीन्स की बहुत ही कम महिलाएं हैं जो अभी बिजनेस के रूप में से ले रही है और उन्होंने बर्धमान का एग्जाम्पल दिया कि किस तरह से शुरुआत में बर्धमान कंपनी में महिलाओं को लाया गया और किस तरह से वर्धमान कंपनी को धीरे धीरे करके महिलाओं से जोड़ते उसको आगे की ओर अग्रसर किया गया किया गया तो अपने वो लाइफ के जो पहलू हैं उनको वो साझा कर रहे थे पर अंदर से मुझे ये महसूस होता है कि इस तरह की एक्टिविटीज हमेशा होती रहनी चाहिए इस तरह की कार्यशालाएं इस तरह के सेमिनार या वर्कशॉप हमेशा ही होने चाहिए क्योंकि इससे हम जैसी महिलाओं को प्रोत्साहन मिलता है और मैं दिल की बात बताऊँ मेरे को आज एजुकेशन सेक्टर में टीचर के रूप में रिसर्चर के रूप में 
या फिर एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर के रूप में अठारह साल हो चुके हैं मुझे ये लगता है कि हम अध्यापक फेल हैं अगर हम अपनी बेटियों को एक क्राफ्ट से ना जोड़ सके सिर्फ क्राफ्ट सिखाना नहीं है क्राफ्ट के थ्रू इनकम कैसे जनरेट की जाए इस पर ध्यान देना बहुत जरूरी है तो हमें वो स्टेप्स उनको सिखाने बहुत ही जरूरी है इसके अलावा मैं अपने साथ मेरे साथ अभी डॉक्टर रंगनाथ जी हैं हमारे ही राय द्वारा कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन के प्रिंसिपल राय द्वारा कॉलेज ऑफ लॉ से तो इन्होंने मुझे बताया ये बनारस से हैं मैं हिमाचल से डॉक्टर पल्लवी पंडित राय द्वारा कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन की प्रिंसिपल हूँ तो इन्होंने मुझे बोला कि इन्होंने स्पेशली मुझे धन्यवाद बोला कि आप मुझे यहाँ पे लेकर आए और मुझे पंजाब में क्या चल रहा है सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप में क्या चल रहा है उसके बारे में अवगत कराया तो सर मैं चाहूंगी कि आप भी अपने विचारों को साझा करें थैंक यू गुड डॉक्टर नून ये वेरी एक्सलेंट टॉपिक एंड रेडिकल चेंजेस कैन कम इन द क्राफ्ट एरिया इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इज पॉसिबल व्हेन ग्राउंड ग्राउंड लेवल जब ग्राउंड लेवल पर काम किया जाएगा तब इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट पॉसिबल है और इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट और वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट बोथ हर क्लोजली रिलेटेड और रेडिकल चेंज क्रांतिकारी बदलाव आ सकता है अगर इस क्राफ्ट एरिया में क्राफ्ट सेक्टर में अगर ग्राउंड लेवल पर काम किया जाए तब वेलफेयर स्टेट की कल्पना सही मायने में और जो भारतीय संविधान की प्रियम्बुल प्रस्तावना में जो है थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जस्टिस आर इंक्लूडेड सोशल पैरिटी इकोनॉमिक पैरिटी पोलिटिकल पैरिटी में भी स्टेब्लिश एंड सोशल जस्टिस में भी स्टेब्लिश इन आवर सोसाइटी वेरी नाइस आप दोनों का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आपने अपने विचार हमारे जीबीसी अपडेट के साथ साझा किया और अपना कीमती समय दिया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैम आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद था सर आपका सबसे पहले तो आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड ग्रेट थैंक्स टू दंड कंग्रेचुलेशन टू दर्गेनाइजर ऑर्गेनाइजर फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सच अ सेमिनार एंड ऑन सच अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल आइडिया टॉपिक द थीम ऑफ द सेमिनार इज इकोनॉमिक एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ वुमेन through entrepreneurship development and uh, in the northwest region so mere khayal de vich badi ek vadiya soch de naal bade vadiya mission de naal kita gaya hai kyunki hun tak assi women di empowerment de layi political empowerment te bahut zor ditta par shayad political empowerment apne objectives achieve nahi kar payi that's why we are still talking about economic empowerment uh, women empowerment so women empowerment de layi ek naya nawa jada means hai nawa tarika hai paradigm hai that can be economic empowerment and that too through entrepreneurship development ke kyu na assi women nu women nu entrepreneur banaiye udmi banaiye to agar women udmi banegi economic empowerment hovegi and ide ch teesra jada element aunda hai that through crafts sector to handicraft se craft di sade northwest ch Rajasthan Himachal apna Punjab bahut hai Punjab de vich fulkari to mera khayal jinni vi is seminar de vich charcha hovegi वो अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव्स अचीव करेगी वी विल हैव सम वेरी गुड डेलीबरेशन एंड एक बार फिर मैं ऑर्गेनाइजर बहुत कंग्रेचुलेशन कहना चाहवागा उन्होंने धनवाद करना चाहवागा फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सैमीनार ऑन दिस वेरी वंडरफुल टॉपिक थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैम आपका जीबीसी अपडेट में मैम जो आज डी कॉलेज में जो नेशनल सेमिनार ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया था आप उसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे First of all, I want to congratulate the organizers and uh, principal of DAV College, Dr. Vinay Sharma ji, HOD of Economics Department, Dr. Varsha Mahindra ji, for organizing such a beautiful uh, seminar. And the theme is also very beautiful. And you know, empowering women in the craft sector. It is really a wonderful approach to gender equality. Fine. And if we look the historical perspective, then uh, women have always been a producer. as well as seller of handicrafts and uh, they passed handicrafts from mothers to their daughters fine and economic empowerment uh, definitely uh, increases the ability of women to the financial independence but uh, but i feel personally that uh, uh, you know technology and ability cannot uh, get you on the top it is your will power fine so women should be self independent and uh, women should think like a queen because queen never afraid of afraid to fail and failure is a stepping stone to any success fine so dream big and uh, set your own 
uh, dreams and try to achieve those dreams with your own rules fine and because there is no overnight success and you should uh, dream big and uh, in the end i would like to say that the hands that rock the cradle can rule the world jo haath jhula jhula sakte hain wo desh ko bhi chala sakte hain and i am very delighted to be here and uh, ma'am has invited me for chairing the technical session and i want to thank you all the organizers principal sir and uh, dr varsha mehinda for this thank you today we at uh, dav college hosharpur are organizing an icssr sponsored one day seminar hosted by the department of economics i welcome all the dignitaries all the subject experts from uh, the state of punjab and uh, the nearby region so i welcome you and i hope that uh, at the end of this seminar we will definitely have many thought provoking ideas and that news in our mind thank you thanks to you